WJCL continues our look back into some of the bigger stories of 2014. The Ebola scare made the biggest health headlines of the year. The deadly virus has already killed thousands before the first case was reported here in the U.S. And here in the coastal empire and low country, well, the medical community stepped up efforts to make sure we are ready. Renee LaSalle has a story. Ebola sparked a nationwide panic in late summer. The first U.S. citizens with the virus are diagnosed in Liberia, then flown to Atlanta's Emory University in August. By September and October, the possibility the disease could spread was sinking in here in the coastal empire and the low country. Ebola is scary. It's a scary virus. It's a scary disease. But the medical community told WJCL News it was prepared. Memorial Hospital was already equipped with more than two dozen isolation rooms to deal with infectious disease. Those rooms are designed to make sure anything in the room stays in the room. Memorial also had special protective suits like the ones you see here to seal out the Ebola virus from those treating it. We are prepared. We have a a list of things that we're going to go by. Even EMS was ready with extra precautions. Southside showed us protective suits and sheeting to be draped in ambulances to keep surfaces contamination free. We have ramped up our, our training. Uh, we're going through a three day process right now so that we can catch all of our employees. By late October, that training was put to the test. A young woman who had just returned from Nigeria called 911, complaining of fever and nausea. When you put those two together, that puts us on our first front line uh, red flag. Ebola was ruled out for that patient, but the area's response didn't stop. At Fort Stewart, more than 30 soldiers were training to help fight the disease in Liberia. I think the, the known risks are always going to be less scary than the unknown risks, and for, for most personnel, the Ebola virus disease is an unknown risk. Those soldiers deployed in November just as fear in the U.S. was winding down. More than half a dozen cases of Ebola had been treated in the states most successfully. And in West Africa, thanks to international help and better health standards, Ebola was starting to lose. Renee LaSalle, WJCL News, working for you. By mid-December, the Ebola numbers had climbed to more than 18,000 cases and 6,600 deaths.